Happy Saturday! Today is Vlogmas Day 7 and I am Shayna of The Well 5 and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. But since it's Vlogmas, I am taking you in a peak or on a peak through my life. So, we're going to have a lot of things planned for Saturday. So, let's get into it. So I'm gonna teach y'all how to cook, right? You gotta cook, you gotta cut the heat up high. Really? Yes. You see how it's starting to smoke a little bit? Right? Okay, I don't think that's how you're supposed to cook. Okay. You wanna cinch. I don't know that's right where you wanna cinch. Singe? Singe, that's what I said. You wanna singe. I don't is it singe? I think so. But it's not you both very severe. But <laughs> you wanna shock this outer skin and the coating of, you know, your food, okay? Steam. That's what you want to hear. You actually want to hear more of that. You actually need a bigger pot, pan. So this right here will do. Okay? You smell that? That's what you're going for, all right? Put a little bit more of this 100% uh, organic avocado oil in. Okay, okay babe. <laughs> there you go. You really hear that, right? Oh yeah. You see that? Go man, come on. You see how we just shot the outer coating of that one there? That's my piece, I call it. Okay. Okay. You can have it. I don't want to cook it too much. You do want some slight crunch with some some moisture. Right. A little pepper? If you sure? Yeah. Wait, can we get some freshly ground pepper? Do we have any? Yeah. Where it be? All right here. That's why the grocery bill is so high. Wow. <laughs> First of all, I brought that with me oh. from my apartment. <laughs> this is the final product. That looks nasty. <laughs> you all made it. No, I did not make this. But I didn't make all of it. <laughs> but you need to make it look, you know what I'm saying? Present it, you just slap it on the plate. Anyway, this is all the food we have in the house. So we made a little something. We did what we could do using all of our resources especially since somebody want to throw out the eggs that we had that was two weeks old it was not two weeks old so, boy, that was what how many weeks okay maybe they were two weeks old but you can't go by the expiration date all the time babe right. I'm <laughs> it's, egg. it's already questionable it is already questionable okay. i used to not eat eggs because of what the hell they said it was like very toxic to your health it was like what it said like Smoking 10 packs of cigarettes or something like that. But then I introduced it again into my life. This is all we got to eat for breakfast. We have any bread? You do have bread in here. You bought bread. What are you gonna do with it? Make me a sandwich. A sandwich out of potatoes? Yeah. Okay. That'd be fire. Wait, what kind of childhood did you have? Now where I ate potatoes and bread together. I didn't grow up always putting syrup and jelly on stuff. And I just feel like it don't go. Like all the sweetness with the savory. But he just made a breakfast sandwich out of breakfast potatoes and syrup. Just take me back to my salmon croquet days. I tell my mama, mama, come make some salmon croquettes. I am headed to the bank to deposit a check on behalf of my boyfriend. Ugh. He wants to deposit the check at um, Bank of America. He tried to deposit this check via the mobile app, but it's too much money to, de to deposit via the mobile app, so it has to go into a branch. This is the largest check I've ever had in my possession. Clearly doesn't have my name on it, <laughs> but it's the largest check that I had in my possession. And one day, 
I would have a check this large in my name and even in my possession. Actually, I don't want it in my possession. I want it to be just deposited straight to the account because this whole going to the bank thing is for the birds. He got this check from a house that he closed on two weeks ago, I believe. So I'm depositing that for him. Bank of America is super far away. <laughs> well, it might not be like super far away, but it's definitely like, I don't know, 12 miles away. I feel like that's far for a Bank of America. For Columbus being the third largest city or maybe the second largest city, I don't remember. In Georgia, I would think that they would have more Bank of America locations around. But I'm about to go deposit this check. He's working on finalizing the script for the course. I'm gonna go drop off the check. Also drop off my car and he's gonna pick me up. And then we're going to go look at some houses. So that's the plan for right now. So I'm about to head out. Let's see how far away this Bank of America is. The last time I went, I have a Bank of America account, but I only use it for um, like when I need cash. So I'll transfer money from my other bank accounts to Bank of America so that I can withdraw. And I was so mad that it was so far away. So I have a Navy Federal account and so that one is right up the street. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna just use Navy Federal for cash, but he doesn't have a Navy Federal account. Damn, it's gonna take 23 minutes to get to this Bank of America. This is ridiculous. I'm here at the bank, 20 something minutes later, and I'm about to go in and go deposit his check. And hopefully the line isn't long, so let me hurry and get in there. So I deposited the check and drove over here to drop my car off so that I can get some maintenance done. I need to get an oil change for sure. Actually, my dad is a mechanic and if he knew <laughs> that I was driving with 0% oil on my car and actually, so now it's saying that um, maintenance is past due 27 miles, but all those 27 miles actually just happened going to Bank of America. So, yeah, not so bad, but my dad would be chewing me out if he knew that I was driving, needing an oil change. He's like super, like, super duper on it when it comes to oil changes because he's like, that is like the number one key thing to keeping your car lasting long. But I also think I need my brakes service. The last time I came to get something done with my car, they were saying that the brakes were like, getting to the point where they needed to be changed but i'm gonna just um take it in and see what they say needs to be done but for sure i know i need to get the oil changed and i think i also need like the cabin filters changed out as well but we're gonna see what they say needs to be done and how much it costs and then we will make a decision about what actually gets done and what gets done at a later date so i'm about to drop off my car and then my boyfriend's going to pick me up so we are about to go look at some properties again but then we just passed by this property here um that he had on contract before but um he is trying to connect with the buyer so that he can potentially send her more deals in the future um so we are here um checking it out so we just arrived at another house I, I, I need to see if this is, is. Hold on, I need to see this out. Well, his first impression was that this is a mess and this can't be the house. But I guess he's about to go check to see if this is the house. No, it's not. The lady's shaking her head now. Because that house is a whole mess. She out here cleaning up something, but it's like she barely making a dent. <laughs> This house, this house alone. Well, she trying to clean. I know she ain't making much of a that. dent, but. Bro. No, okay. I guess maybe this guy's in the driveway already. Definitely a, uh, yeah. Um, that house there, that house sat open over 10 years. Oh, wow. So, I know somebody just bought it, I think. Like two or three months ago. Okay. Um, so they're bringing it back to life. Oh, that's what they're doing. Okay. Terrible. 
And so it looks like a lot of people are doing um, work in this neighborhood. So y'all saw the one house here. And then this is the house that he's thinking about getting. And then across the street, they have like work vans and stuff out. So, yep. People are working in this neighborhood. I'm hungry. It is time to eat. I don't know what to eat though. Man, got somebody else in the Kia drive right behind. This is the neighborhood we're supposed to be in. Okay, the Kia family. Okay. You feel me? Oh wow, baby. Definitely. He's doing some so, hard work. Right. How you doing? Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> get a get a quote for Albert's. Probably be like, just this? You know, 150? <laughs> I sold. <laughs> you can come back for two weeks. You talking about you can come back in two weeks for real. Now babe, I need help. I need to find the water key. This is what I need to find. I don't even know what a water key is, but okay. Or not the water key. I need to find the water, whatever it is. <clears throat> Hello. She looking like you a child molester. Don't kill me, don't kill me. <laughs> Hello. Hey, little doggy. The neighbor's Hello. dog. Are these your uh, dogs? Oh, hey. How y'all doing? <laughs> Hi. Doing good, doing good. <laughs> hey, uh, quit, quit uh, thinking about it, trying to cut the water water key on, uh, or the, the, the water on with this water key um, to, you know, check out the plumbing, yeah. stuff like that. But I, I know it's been baking for a while. So. Yeah. I'm uh, Michael, by the way, it's my girlfriend. Hi. Hey, nice to meet you. Hi. Hey, nice to meet you. Hey, Hi. Hey, nice you. Hi. Hey, nice you. 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 Hey, Look like that. Uh, you might be. You might can see remnants, but uh, <laughs> I said I'm gonna uh, start start back. So I might I might need to swing by and uh, get some yeah, some right. protein and stuff oh, like yeah. that. Like that for me. Thank you, Come on. There, we there we go. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. So what does one do? What does this do? This turns on the water. You said. Yeah. I just gotta locate where it actually is. Be careful, there's a lot of ants. I see. It's a frog down here, right? Is there? Hey, is it really? Yeah, you see it? Oh, well, I know I don't see it. Oh, is it dead? No, I thought I, it was. I think it is, ain't it's it? Not. Oh, it no, it's not. What is it, sleep or something? Oh! Being extra. No, not. What if it jump all the way out here? I wonder if the water key should cut this thing on, but where is it at? Ah, oh, you know what? Dang it. What? I don't think it'll be turned on. I think this is preventing it from being turned on. Well, they owe money or something? Why is it? There we go. Okay. okay. Ah, but you know, but there, there's not anything connecting this. So if I twist it on, it's just going to run out right there. Oh, I see. It's gonna hurt my property inspection. So what do you you need to get something or the water company need to come and put that on? Water company needs to come and put it on. Did I just break it. I think that was some sediment or something like that. Yeah.
about to drown the frog. Oh, I didn't forgot about the frog that quick. What is wrong with me? I'm about to get it out. Don't, babe, do not touch that. So, babe, what's your what's your final thought? Go ahead and cut this off. <coughs> cut it off here. I'm thinking cut, open this all the way up, so up to there. Maybe add some some posts, like some. No, I don't like the posts. You know, like mm. this is some some grandios some grandiosity. That word. No, I don't so I'm like thinking, it. take this whole thing off, expand the the stairs, or cut it off to like halfway at like a little, I guess not mantle, but but halfway. I mean, this is what I'm thinking. Not half halfway, like more like here. I think it need to be here. Okay, yeah. More like waist length, gotcha. like I mean hip length. Okay, and the foundation guy he was looking at like there are cracks, right? They're not necessarily severe. No, but I, this looks severe to me. Sure. Uh -huh. I mean, I've, I've seen worse. It's, it's severe enough, I guess. But, uh... I mean, I think it would be best if you cut at least from where it is. Just cut out all of this. So you, you can get a full view. You right. How old is it, babe? Is it still good? November 27, 2017. Now you was about to eat some eggs. From November 26, 2019, That's the November, current November, year. November, November. <laughs> it would be nice if you could just take out all this wall right here. But I don't know, there's probably some structural things. And then I gotta lower the floor and all this stuff. This definitely is low bearing, I think, for sure. Or at least open this up into the kitchen. Yeah, if you could open it here, and then even if there's like a little bit of wall, but like open this out more, make it wider, like two very wide entrances, just make it look more open. It's good because this, because you're losing counter space here. But that's why I was saying you can extend the kitchen into here if this is the dining room. True, but then, and they make this a dining room? It could be, this could be the formal dining room, but the kitchen comes into more here because the table don't need to be this big. This is a huge That's area true. for a table. True, 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 true. So it could come in even up to here and then have the dining room here. Mm -hmm. And then that could be like still a little breakfast nook. That's true. Does the floor kind of slope a little bit? He always be talking about, does the floor slope? But you could also still have cabinets go here and it still be a little space for tables. I think it might still be enough space. Or at least even upper cabinets. Gotcha. Even if it's not lowers. So that way, because it's not that much cabinets that you're losing by opening this up, but it is losing some, you know? Then I, I, I want to move this out the way, and I want to create, I want to move these two items out of the way to create a, a window to look into the, to the room. But the, the refrigerator can come on this wall. But then what's going to... Nothing? What? Like, does this not need to be like a little breakfast nook? I think you can still have that with the kitchen, with the refrigerator. I don't think that precludes you having Preclude. a break. <laughs> what do y'all think? Do you think that you can have a breakfast nook with shelvings or what is it called? Cabinet systems around there? Or tell me what y'all think about what we should do about fixing up this kitchen to make it bigger, probably put in an island maybe or whatever. 
But the idea is to open up this wall, hopefully, somehow. But remember, there's a step down into a sunken living room. And so that would affect how much you can, oh, no? How much you can open up right here. But it would be good if all of this was just open. But then, but the sunken floor, that's, that's yeah. the thing that's hurting. Mm -hmm. The sunken floor. Yeah. But I want to take these coins. What coin? You stealing? How am I stealing? Well, I guess I'm not. I want to get, take all these coins. I got some in the bedroom, too. And go deposit them. <laughs> get some dinner on. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully, some good amount of money. Look, another jar of money. No, what is that? That's some. Uh, look, it's like ashes. Mother Tillman's ashes. Are you serious? It says that. Babe, that's what it said. Babe, are you serious? Babe, read it. No, it don't. It said made with fresh. Oh my you God. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, we're like. <laughs> hey, you never know. This is my first time coming around these parts of Columbus with these homes over here looking like mansions. It's nothing for the grand. I ain't never been around right here. Ever. Look at this house. Look at this house. Now don't worry about the view. Don't worry about it now. Anyway. Look. Property for days. But babe, where do you always have me at in Columbus? In the incomparable places. In the hood. He always got me over in the hood. Looking at houses. He'll never take me to these parts. Oh yeah. Well, this done. Back in like I live here. <laughs> He's about to go. Um, he found this one, I guess, a buyer or investor in the tax assessor's website. He's about to go introduce himself. So a key part of his business is having a list of buyers or investors that he can sell the properties to. And so he has to you know network and find buyers any way that he can and so one of the ways that he finds them is through the tax assessor's website and sometimes he calls them up and if he can't get them he pops by their house <laughs> if they're local um and he's pretty charismatic so hopefully nothing crazy happens he's still knocking on the door y'all can see Looks like their um home though because um there's a car in the driveway. Well, I guess they aren't actually home. Me and my mom were actually having a conversation about this the other day about how people are so leery of people knocking on your door nowadays where it's back in the day that's the only way you could really go visit someone or you know was to knock on their door because nobody has cell phones on them like throughout the day to be like hey i'm you know in your neighborhood i want to stop by where do you want to go um, you want to go uh, mexican or indian or let's do the mexican boy so we can get a little drink Oh. We got this to share. Man, he gonna order this. Sure, that's not even mine. It's on your side of the table, though. Okay, well, that's on your side of the table. No, babe. This is the table. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back home, and I come home, and I see a saw being assembled. Shane, can I... <sighs> Can I operate in peace? <laughs> Can I live in peace? Who has a saw just randomly being put together in their home? The master, that's who. He been dying to get this little pole saw for the past few weeks. 
This is a saw so that he can like reach the trees. Uh huh. Whoa. Catch us tomorrow, taking a road trip for day seven.